Please welcome David Fagenbaum. We've tried everything. There's nothing else that we can do. I heard those words, but between the unbearable pain and all of my organs shutting down, I didn't really understand what my doctors meant until my family came into the room to say their final goodbyes and a priest read me my last rites. I was 25 years old. Just six months earlier, I was a former college quarterback and a medical student trained to become an oncologist in memory of my mom when I became critically ill with a rare and deadly illness called Castleman disease. In a last-ditch effort to save my life, my doctors had tried a combination of seven chemotherapies. Somehow, I survived. But I relapsed and nearly died four more times in three years and knew that I wouldn't likely survive another one. My only hope would be to find an existing drug that could be repurposed for me. I knew it was possible because many diseases share the same underlying problems and can thus be treated with the same treatments. So I began studying my own samples in the lab and found a drug that emerged from the data, serolimus. It had been on my pharmacy shelf all along for other diseases, but had never been used for my disease. I began testing it on myself, and after nearly dying five times in three years, I've been alive for the last eight years. <laughs> During this remission, I married the love of my life, Caitlin, had two beautiful children, wrote a book about my journey chasing my cure, and joined the faculty at the University of Pennsylvania to continue chasing cures. We've already discovered and advanced 10 more repurposed treatments for Castleman disease and cancer, as well as COVID-19 treatments, which have each saved countless lives. These patients are alive today because of cures we uncovered that were hiding in plain sight but so much more work still needs to be done. In fact, humankind has only developed about 3,000 drugs that are approved for about 3,000 diseases. And the other 9,000 human diseases don't have a single FDA-approved therapy. That means that one in 10 of you, one in 10 of your children, and one in 10 of your grandchildren either has or will develop a disease that doesn't have a single treatment. And one in three of these kids will not survive to kindergarten. Even though repurposing existing drugs for these diseases is much faster and less expensive than new drug development, cures like my own sit on the pharmacy shelf because of three systemic barriers. First, no centralized database exists that matches drugs with potential diseases. Second, there are insufficient incentives for companies to repurpose drugs, especially cheap generic drugs. So there are known opportunities for cures that no one is pursuing. And third, no organization is responsible for unlocking the full potential of every drug. Not the NIH, not the FDA, not pharma, no one. Until now. Today, I am excited to announce the launch of Every Cure and EveryCure.org, a nonprofit organization on a mission to unlock the full potential of each and every drug to cure each and every disease possible. To <laughs> Together with partners in pharma, philanthropy, tech, and medicine, we are building a comprehensive open source database of drug repurposing opportunities and have already received data and donations totaling $4 million towards the 12 million we need to launch this year. A pilot of the first 147 diseases has already unlocked 106 drug repurposing opportunities. And with every additional 3 million raised, we will perform clinical trials of a promising drug in a new disease, about 500 times less expensive than new drug development. And since we're focusing on the 90% of drugs that are already generic and widely accessible, this will have an incredibly huge impact across the world on health equity right away. There is no greater impact in terms of saving lives. I'm not supposed to be here, and I don't know how much longer I will be, but as long as I'm alive and there are patients like Raj, 
Lisa and Gary waiting for cures, we're going to continue to chase them. But we can't do it alone. The three things we need right now are one, funding to accelerate the database launch and launch trials. Two, tech partners to fully leverage the power of AI to predict promising treatments. And three, data sets from healthcare companies to feed the engine. Please join us to unlock every cure so that no patient is ever told we've tried everything when a life-saving cure is on the pharmacy shelf. Thank you so much.